All right, this is uh, Crash and Burn 506 bringing you my new Airsoft review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the P311. It holds 12 rounds, and, and it's a little harder to cock than the Colt 1911. It's definitely bigger than the P328. It's pretty interesting. It's got a working safety right here. Currently I've got it on safe so that I don't accidentally fire it. To stick the clip in, you just slide it in. To take it out, you press that button. Now to load it, there's this little thing. You pull it all the way down to the bottom, put this down, and pour in your BBs. Then, when you slide it in, it'll automatically press that button, and up goes the slide. Oh, what I really like about this is the safety, and also it looks more realistic than the, P and then the Colt 1911. And I think it looks really sick, really cool, you know. I have to go outside for showing you how to caulk and stuff, but yeah. I also got 2,000 BBs with it, so no more three shot to a uh, uh, firing test. Woohoo! Okay, let's go. All right, I am loading him right now. This time it's a range test. Yes, because I can afford to lose the beats. So, taking safety off. That's it. So the range test, it was able to hit my fence, which was about oh, 45 feet away. Now, the manual said it could be dangerous up to 100 yards away, which is pretty good. It, uh, I fired 12 rounds with this, and this is a pretty nice gun. It's by Crossman. And you can get extras of these clips for only five dollars and five or five to seven dollars at Walmart. Now, one thing I didn't mention about loading: when you pull this down, after you pull it down, push this button, then you can just pour the BBs in. Unlike the P328 and the Colt 1911. Oh, by the way, the Colt 1911 kind of broke. That's why I got this one. Oh, and anyways, is it's a lot easier to load, and, and since you can just pour them in, it's a lot faster. It may hold one less BB than the Colt to 1911, but it can and you can load it faster, which is a big advantage. So thank you and goodbye.